Vision is a gift. To see beyond the mess that may be in front of us, to remove ourselves from it, to clean it up, and then to settle on a future that does not yet exist. Countless books have been written and sold on the subject of vision. The stories and strategies captivate our imagination time and again. That's because we have seen how lack of vision causes people to perish. It leads to chaos and dysfunction. Lack of vision has led humanity into a dizzying array of ill-conceived endeavors like the Tower of Babel, single-use plastics, and Betamax video players. In one of his best-selling books, Visioneering, Pastor Andy Stanley defined the memorable term as a clear mental picture of what could be, fueled by the conviction that it should be. And that's the crux of any vision that honors God. Seeing what could be, being convinced that it should be, and being driven by a desire that'll bring glory to God through human flourishing. Vision is a beautiful thing, but having the conviction to see it through is truly inspiring. For this session, we're gonna focus on the vision of a business that is thriving on the continent of Africa. Nigerian entrepreneur and philanthropist, Dr. Cosmas Maduka began his entrepreneurial career at a necessity at the age of nine. His father had died, so he and his brother supported his family by selling bean cakes in the street. From those humble beginnings, Cosmos has built the Cos Cherish Group, one of the most successful companies in Africa. See how he reached the heights of business success without compromising his God-given vision and biblical integrity. How Cosmos overcame a lack of opportunities to become one of the most successful entrepreneurs in Africa is a great reminder of what it means to combine vision with integrity. Let's watch. If you want to look for example of how businesses are run, people typically will mention Cosmos how founder has been able to delegate, because which is a challenge of a lot of founders of businesses. They tend to hold everything to themselves, including the vision, including the dream, strategy, that when they pass or when they're no longer in the business, nobody can even remember you know, what is important for the business. He has proven that it doesn't matter where you've started from, it's where you're going that matters. And so young people look at him as an example to say, yeah, his English is not perfect, his educational pursuits are not perfect, but he has exceeded all expectations and all limitations placed on him because he believed and he put his faith firmly in a God of miracles and a God who is a faithful father to those who commit their trust and their lives to him. My dad and my mom are mom and dad primarily before I, as a kid, before you know about the outside life or the outside world, I knew for the longest time that we were Christians, before I knew we were wealthy. At the tender age of four, my father passed away. My mother used to fly cake beans in the morning, give a bucket for my senior brother to go and sell, and one for me to sell. But I didn't have opportunity to go to school but I didn't want my not going to school to defy me, to you know, decide who I'm going to be. I believe everywhere I have been in life is a school. It's a question of whether I am willing to learn or not. So I sat down and I said, I'm not going to be like every other boy. I wanted to be different from the rest of the people. I wrote five things I wanted to do, stuck it on top of my bed, I pray every night before I sleep. Those are the things I look up like this and look them up from up down. And I go to bed and sleep. My uncle, my mother's junior you know, brother, brought me to Lagos here to work for him. He sent me to the our village in the Newe to set up a shop for a motorcycle pass. I did very well. So he counted 200 naira and gave me. The custom is that he need to pay for a store, give me some merchandise, and then set me up with some capital. But he gave me only 200 naira, that's all. I said, Uncle, five years from today, please make a note. If you had who I am, your head would be spinning. I left that place with my senior brother. We went home, team up, and formed a company called Madaka Brothers. I have more knowledge for the business than my senior brother, okay? So I knew every inch and out of 
automotive component, much more knowledge than him. What really created our problem was that because I was a Christian and I've also learned some basic principles about giving. When I'm going to church, I go with one naira. And um, so he told me I cannot be taking one naira from our business money for offering. He said he's not ready for this argument. We should part well. Within the one year, it's about the eight months into the business, we part well. Before the end of my 18, I find a young lady in our church in a choir. Uh, her name is Charity. She asked me, where am I taking her? I shared my vision with her. I told her, this is where I'm going to be by 21, 24. And she said, I'll support you. We'll do it together. But it was clear in my mind where I wanted to be in life. Because it's a journey of a voyage. I saw the destination, but all the route that would take me there was not known to me. We started headhunting, getting experts, people who have gone to university, who know how to manage business in a more structured manner. In 1982, I incorporated Cost Charis. Cost Charis is Cosmos and Charity. We are coming from a Christian background. We pray here before we start business in all our branches, wherever we are and we are not apologetic about it to let people know this is who we are because that is our source. Koscharis was started by a dynamic entrepreneurial couple, Cosmos Madoka and his wife Charity Madoka, many, many years ago. I think they were started this about 32 years ago. Um, and it's really now a group that has investments in tech, agriculture, automotive, a range of sectors, construction even. And this is a company that is truly rooted in a vision to create wealth for the kingdom. Again, I think the function of a desire, a desire was far more than that of his contemporaries. Many of them, their desires, I want to have money, maybe enjoy my money. But that's not his own desire. He desired to create a company that will last long after he has you know, exited his path. So he had to do things differently. So in terms of blessing for the entrepreneurs, you start from what is your vision? What do you want to achieve with all this drive and all these uh, others? I'm really happy that when people interact with us, they, the, the faith aspect of the business is in their forefront. It's not like they're, they're thinking, oh, I'm coming to some churchy place. They just, when I say the faith aspect, it's like, oh, we know we're dealing with someone who's honest, who's in, who has integrity and, you know, try to do what, say what he will do and do what he will say. So um, most of our dealings end up favorably because of that, that goodwill or that reputation. He didn't have an uncle or an auntie that will help him. No, he just trusted God. I'm going to do the right thing. I'm going to work hard because doing the right thing doesn't mean laziness. You have to work hard for God to bless the works of your hand. And God does not bless nothing else. He say you prosper the works of your hands, so you have to do the work before he can bless it. If one of the key elements, the key drivers of the business from a value standpoint is the, you know, integrity, credibility, how do you ensure that through the process? How do you ensure that we reward the appropriate, um, you know, incentivize the appropriate behaviors? And of course, you know, get people to walk away from those behaviors that you want to uh, minimize in the business. And so everything we do, Rise on the fact that we want to show the light to do it the right way, to show the people that you can do the right thing and still make money. You don't have to make money only when you do the wrong thing. Cosmos introduced one of his king's townsmen from Newi to a bank, Access Bank, where he had a seat on the board, where he was a major shareholder. Um, and a verbal introduction um, to the bank and this individual took a loan, the first loan he paid back, the second loan he paid back, and the third loan he defaulted, and it was worth millions of dollars. And Cosmos, because of his personal integrity and because he was the one who introduced this individual to the bank, essentially took upon himself to repay the debt because of his integrity. Not because he had any financial or fiduciary responsibility, but because his name was on the line. I oversee finance. I want money to flow in. He said, who tell me, sorry, Fred, you want money to flow in, but your costs are high. 
my cost are high because I want to follow the right principle, bring the goods through the ports, pay the duty, follow all the protocols, and I can tell you it's not easy, it's expensive. It's easier to follow the other way. I won't say it's only us that do that, but there are few that follow that route, especially in automobile business in Nigeria. And today, because of his integrity, he basically can get loans without any collateral, without any requirement, because people know his name and his commitment to integrity supersedes anything else. Now that dispels all the reputational issues associated with being Nigerian. Most people think of Nigerian businessmen and they often think about fraud. Sadly, Cosmos is just one of the many examples of exemplary Christian entrepreneurs from this region who walk the talk um, and who take bold steps to live for God and work for God. Decisions you made today determine who you are going to be in the next five years to come. As a matter of fact, decisions you make today will determine your internal destination. But you must take responsibility. You won't put it on your father or your mother. It's your own decision. Life thrown everything to me not to succeed. But I was determined that I'm going to succeed and I'm going to go places. A vision help you to simplify your life. So the real truth is that quite a number of people are live visionless life. Okay, so it, 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 to, to live a life without vision is worse than not having a physical sight. Because you, if, if you don't know where you are going, any wind will be the right wind. You keep, drif you keep drifting, you keep drifting. But you got to be sure this is the harbor that I'm seeking. Then you can direct the wind to go to that harbor. But in the midst of it, God will give you, provide you a way to be able to go. Those things are part of your uh, processes you are going through to refine you, to, you know, to, you know, clean you up, to, you know, get you matured for the main thing where you are going. Can biblical values really lead to success? The business world often makes it seem that we have to cut corners to make it to the top, but Cosmos Maduka has proven that theory wrong. And what he is showing us in his life and through his business is that our faith in God can be the competitive advantage we've been searching for all along. The marketplace is competitive and cutthroat at times. Temptations to accept a bribe or tell a lie aren't just juicy storylines in a movie or book. They're very real trappings that can snap any business up at any time. Giving in and giving up are not just something we see in one country, it's all around us. Sometimes it's just more deeply buried or expertly hidden. When tested, who are you going to be? When someone defaults on a loan, like in Cosmos' story, what are you gonna do? When you have no legal obligation, are you gonna go that extra mile for integrity? Excellence matters. And it's one of the defining marks of a faith-driven entrepreneur. This extends beyond the quality of our work to also include the trustworthiness of our witness. How you conduct your business is a reflection of God and His character. Talk about this session in your group and how it relates to the journey you're on. Open yourselves up to learning from one another. Be transparent and honest with each other. What you get out of this time together will only be as enriching and life-giving as what you put into it. We'll see you next time.